Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see four questions and answers related to iPhone journal app. Number one, journal notification settings. Number two, journaling suggestions on iPhone, how to take control of it. And number three, how to lock your journal for privacy reasons. And number four, iPhone journaling discoverable by others, how to control that setting properly. I'll also give the timeline in the description and in the first comment if you like to directly jump to any specific part of the video you can use that. Number one iPhone journal notification settings. When you look at the lock screen if your iPhone receives the journal notification settings every day you need to take control of it by simply swiping towards left on any particular notification that you have received from the journal. This will also work for any other application. Tap on options and directly from here here you can navigate to the journal settings the notification settings alternatively you can go to the journal notification settings by tapping on settings application notifications and then journal application so here you can see all the default notification permissions that have been given to the journal app can be seen and you can control which type of notification you like to receive whether it is to be a badge notification or a silent one whether the lock screen alone should be off or not you can decide everything there and then go back to the settings home page navigate inside the journal and inside the journaling suggestions you can see that the journal data that you store everything will be private and it is stored on your device and apple have no access to that also you can see link to privacy notifications and notification settings directly from this page when you come back to the previous page you can see the skip journaling suggestions where inside the journal app if you are creating a journal writing a journal and if you are not uh, comfortable with the screen occupying the journaling suggestions you can turn it off like whatever you have in your mind you want to write in the journal app then you can turn that feature off and the next important thing is the journaling schedule the notification that you see on the lock screen and in the home screen normally comes from this setting so when you take control of it by scheduling when the which day and time you need to receive the journaling suggestion reminder to write your journal you know you can control that here so this reminder setting the schedule reminder setting will be completely turned off and the next one is the third one is locking your journal for some privacy reasons if it is more like your private journal and you don't want anyone your family members or kids or you know friends when you hand over the phone to them if you don't want anyone to read your journal you can of course lock it with your iphone passcode or face id and the next settings we are going to see about the journal app is something also related to the battery consumption like some people are worried that journal is consuming some portion of the battery so navigate inside the journaling suggestions and tap on the privacy settings and inside you can see it will take you directly to the settings privacy and security uh, uh, then journal app you know the suggestions related to the journal app so here you can see all the background activities permission that you have given the privacy related permission whether the journal app can access your photos and videos or location permission everything you can see them here if you're privacy concerned then you can turn this feature off because by default it detects any uh, person nearby using the same toggle on the feature on and using the journal app then based on the number of people around you at a particular location if you're going to Disney or any other you know a crowded place then based on that devices near to you using the Bluetooth connectivity it improves the journaling suggestions the sites the photos and you know nearby contents and it collects and it will not pin to a certain person a particular person but it just gathers all such data so if you don't want such you know uh, data gathering happens and you know based on that the journaling suggestion to be given then you can of course turn that off another important thing that I was talking about the battery drain is like if you don't want the journal app to be used for detecting the locations then you can turn the significant locations feature off or you can turn off all the features related to the activity media contacts and photos if you are planning to write it like a private journal and you want to manually select photos and videos from your photos application and you don't want any random suggestions uh, you know based on the nearby devices and based on the locations that you visit which automatically gathered on your iPhone these suggestions helped you to take control better control of the journal app to optimize and to you know to focus on your a uh, journal that you want to write on your iPhone. Thanks so much for watching. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. If you find this video useful, you know what to do. Have a wonderful day.